So the first move is just um, marching on the spot. Get ready. Go. Swinging your arms, picking your knees up. Got a tissue tucked up your sleeve. That's such a granny thing to do. <laughs> I feel like my mum when I've got a tissue tucked up your sleeve. It's a bit put off having to, uh, you know, like dig out the base layers this morning. I was like, ah, I don't want to have to be wearing layers. Right, next one, we're going to pick the pace up a wee bit. Just remembering it is just a warm up. And we're just going to jog on the spot. So just lightly jog on the spot. Just keep your whole body dead loose. Swinging your arms a little bit as well. So it's just a warm up, don't go too mad. Just want to gradually increase your heart rate. Gradually increase your breathing. Something's just happened to me, Alexa. Sometimes the Wi-Fi just cuts off a little bit. Um, so plant your feet. We're going to do some twists. So you're just going to twist in the torso round one way, all the way around the other way. Keep your stomach tight. I like to look straight ahead, uh, just because I get dizzy if I twist my head. If you've got any tight bits, just linger into them. Just take it at your own pace. Well done, Alexa. Play music. Um, next, I'm going to stretch the back of the body. We're going to do some touch toes, okay? So you're just going to stretch right towards the floor, as close to the floor as you can get. Just keep a micro bend in your knees, so don't lock your knees out. If you can't get anywhere near the floor or your toes, do not worry about that. Just never compare yourself to anybody else. Just do what works for your own body. You just want to stretch on the back of the body here, really. Last one. Right, we're going to go into doing some squats next. So plant your feet wide-ish, turn your toes out a wee bit, and then just gonna sit your bum back and down. Quite slow, because it's just a warm-up. What you really wanna do, get your bum equal to your knee crease or slightly below if you're able to though. There's quite a nice breeze coming in here now. It's nice and cool. So 10 more seconds on your squats. I'm gonna try and sort my, um, sort my music out before we move into the core workout. I hate working out in silence, it's just weird. Right, lunges. So squats and lunges don't suit, suit you. You'll be familiar with glute bridges. So do those instead. Um, or just do another more touch toes or jog on the spot again or something. So if there's ever a move that doesn't suit you, just, just swap it for something that does suit you. It's, it's your workout. Um, you don't have to do everything that I do. That's not an excuse to slack off though. Right, so we're going to do windmills now. So feet a bit wide and then arms out to the side and then you're just going to swing around and touch your opposite foot. Again, generous bend in the knees if you need it. You're just looking for a bit of an inner thigh stretch and then a bit of a sort of full body twist. Build up a bit of speed if you're able to, just to get that heart rate up a wee bit more. Right, we're going into the last part of the warm up now, so just going to be jumping on the spot. This time, maybe just pick the knees up a bit, a bit, a bit higher. Just try and get a bit warmer. See, I just had a bedroom window. She's in her house party to her pals. Right, arm circles forward, and then arm circles back. We're nearly done with the warm up. A few more seconds. Rest there. Right, I'm just grab a drink if you want. I'm just going to pop off camera for a sec to try and sort the music out. Um, you're going to need your mat because we're going to do the floor work and how the abs work out. Alexa. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Alexa. <coughs> Apparently she's having trouble connecting to the internet, but... My phone's connected to the internet, so figure that one out. Right, hi Julie Sharkey and Julie Smith. I've already said hi to everybody else. Alexa? Oh, play QFX. She's saying she's having trouble She seems to be back, she's blue, so she's back on now. Right, so we're gonna do a, a core and abs to batter. We're gonna go do two different moves, so I'll just demonstrate them now. 
Um, if you've never done them before, just have a little practice while I'm doing the demo. And then we'll go straight into the Tabata. So it's eight rounds, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest or transition period. And we're just gonna alternate between the two moves. Um, they're both lay flat on the back. If you've got a weight, and if, you've, if you're quite confident your core's quite strong, just grab it now. Right. Might actually take, I'll take one layer off. <laughs> Always lose a layer of course when I do that. Right, so I'm going to grab my kettlebell, just in case I need that. Right, so first we'll be back on knee sliders. So you're going to get flat on your back, you're going to have your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Sticking your stomach in really tight so you're flattening your lower back to the mat. Just a slight tilt of the pelvis so you're able to do that. Then you're going to place your hands on your thighs. You're going to breathe out and you're going to crunch up until your hands touch your knees. Then you're going to breathe in and release back down. So breathe out on the way up, in on the way down. Knee sliders. You want to keep your head in a neutral position. Imagine you've got an orange underneath your chin. Keep looking up to the ceiling. So every time you crunch up, you're not crunching your neck like that because your neck's going to get sore. So that's knee sliders, so that's the first move. The second move has the same start position. So stick your stomach in, your knees bent. Then you're going to pick your shins up parallel to the ceiling. If you've got a weight, you're going to grab that. If you've not got a weight, just imagine you've got something in your hands. So your hands start touching your knees. You're then going to stretch your legs and arms out long, so simultaneously, and then crunch back in. So I call these kettlebell crunches. So the hard version is hovering your arms and legs off the floor all the time. An easier version would be when your arms and legs go out long, you just rest them on the floor just for a second or two and crunch back in again. If that's still too challenging, doing arms and legs at the same time, just forget about the arms and just do the legs. Let's give that a try. So knee sliders and kettlebell crunches. You don't have to have a weight, but if you've got one, use it. Um, you're probably not going to want anything really heavy for that unless you're very confident that your core is really strong. <coughs> right, so is everybody ready? Right, so 10 second countdown is on. So on your back, suck your belly in, flatten your back to the mat, hands on your thighs, two, one, knee sliders go. So breathe out on the way up. So you're going to eliminate all the air from your stomach so you can flatten your stomach really, really tight. So try to maintain that tension on the stomach muscles at all times. Rest there. If you're using the weight, grab it now. So we're going in three, two, one. So kettlebell crunches, arms and legs out long, and then you crunch your back in again. And again, just keep your breath going with that movement. That stomach, stomach sucks right in and really try to flatten the lower back to the mat. Try not to let, let your lower back ride up and over arch. Rest. So 10 second rest or transition. We've done two rounds already. So moving into the third round now. So knee sliders go. So as you blow out, just suck your stomach in as flat as you possibly can. If you're quite new to this and you can't slide up all the way to knees, don't stress about that. Just go as high as you can go for you. So run the rest period now. Grab your weight again if you're using one. Three, two, one. So kettlebell crunches. So arms and legs out long. Keep your whole body tight. Really maintain that tension and really control it. If when you're doing this move, you put your arms and legs out long, your lower back really arches loads off the back. That's a sign of rest, that your core is just not strong enough. So just drop the weight or drop the arms and just do the legs. You want to really make sure that you're maintaining that tension. So go with the knee sliders. If your lower back's really riding up and really overarching, that's just a sign that your core muscles are disengaging and they're not strong enough and you could end up hurting your back or actually training your stomach into a sticky out position which uh, I don't think anybody want to do that. Rest. Right so we're going into round six now we're nearly there. 
Cowbell Frenchies go. Keep at it, we're nearly there. Try and keep your breath flowing and moving. Try and still take deep breaths even though you're bracing your stomach muscles. It's quite hard to do that. Rest there. Right, one round of each exercise left. So go back to the knee sliders now, so hands on your thighs, three, two, one, and slide up. So this is the last lot of these. Try and get really high. Try and get your hands right onto your kneecaps. Should really be feeling the burn in the stomach muscles now. That's what we want. Part, but it's, it's really doable without any equipment. The next part is probably hard enough without using any weights. So just grab, grab yourself a wee drink if you like. I'm just looking at the gym, I literally vacuumed it like two days ago, and it's like an absolute shit all again. The dog just keeps dragging crap in. Right, I'm gonna get rid of my mat. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of work on the floor. I'm not asked about having a mat though, so I'm going to get mine out of the way. If you want to use it and you've got plenty of space, leave it out. Right, so we're going to do a little circuit, a little six minute circuit. Um, so there's going to be three moves. So three moves back to back, 30 seconds each. So you're going to work for a minute and a half and then you're going to have 30 seconds rest. So that's one round, it's two minutes. Three rounds, six minutes. I'm just going to set my clock. Oh, Graham's, good job I noticed that because Graham's just edited the clock. Right, so six minutes. I'll just demonstrate the moves now. I don't think we've done any of the moves together before, so um, if you want to just copy along as I'm demo and just have a bit of a practice. The first move is called a walk out, well that's what I'll call it. Start standing up straight. Generously bend your knees, get your hands on the floor. Walk your hands forward till you're in the top of a press up or a plank. Get your whole body dead tight, then walk your hands back and stand up. So you're bearing a lot of weight on the upper body and the shoulders, so it's an upper body burn. Uh, full body move because you're having to get into the plank at the bottom and keep your core tight and then you're working your legs as you're pushing back up to stand and then as you're, you're crouching down so that's a walk out so we're going to do 30 seconds of those on our last walk out over the 30 seconds we're going to stay down on our bellies so lower body I don't know if you can see that lower body staying in contact with the floor we're going to do some cobra push-ups so hands directly underneath your shoulders you're then going to press right up Squeeze your lower back, squeeze your bum, really distributing the weights into your hands and using your arm muscles. you notice I'm keeping a micro bend in my elbow, okay, so I'm not looking out at the top. This will look different for everybody depending on your flexibility and your strength. Some people will just be able to get up dead low, not a problem. If you can get high, obviously the better. 30 second cobra push-ups. On the last one, we're just going to come up into all fours and you're going to do a bear crawl. So you're on your hands and you're on your feet and your knees are totally bent and you're just going to crawl a bit like Spider-Man keeping your body low to the ground keeping your butt really low as well you're just going to crawl back and forth for 30 seconds and then we're going to do 30 seconds rest three times round are we ready? so 10 second countdown is on we're starting off with the walkouts so standing up straight go so on this part of the circuit, on this circuit, no equipment, no weight. On the next one you might want to use a bit of equipment. So make sure when you get to the bottom of that walkout, that you just briefly pause there. Just make sure your body's in a nice strong plank and engage your core. <coughs> so once you get used to the movement pattern, build up a bit of speed. Right, last walkout, stay down. And we're going to go into the cobra push-ups now. Go. So it's 
really good way of strengthening your upper body. A lot of people struggle with press ups. So this is just a way of progressing it. You're really working that upper body through the full range of motion, but you're just not quite bearing your whole body weight on your upper body. Strengthening to your butt and your lower back as well, which is really good. Keep going. And it's getting your heart rate up a bit this one as well, isn't it? Right, push up into that all fours, dig your toes into the floor, and you go for the bear crawl, now go. So we're doing 30 second bear crawl, faster and slow as you like. Keep your bum low, keep the core engaged. It burns your arms and your legs, this one. Keep going. So you can crawl back and forth, you can crawl around in a circle. I just want to keep facing the camera, so I'm just going back and forth. But I'll leave it up to you to freestyle it. It's like Spider Man. And rest. Right, another layer's coming off. 30 second rest. Let me go have a drink. So 15 seconds left on the rest. And then we'll go back into another round of walkouts. So we've done one round of three. Three, two, one, walkouts. So once you've got used to the movement pattern, really try and build up a bit of speed. Really try and think about all the muscles that you're using. Keeping your core really tight, especially at the bottom. Keep going. So 10 more seconds on these walkouts. And then we're gonna go into some cobra push-ups. Right, last one. And then you're gonna stay down. Cobra push-ups now. It's so really pushing the weight into your hands. Really work those upper body muscles. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze your butt and your lower back. You should feel the burn in your shoulders and your triceps. Keep your hands directly underneath your shoulders. 10 more seconds. And then we're going into that sort of Spider-Man bear crawly type thing. Right, push it up. Get ready, go. So you're just sort of creeping. Alternate hand, alternate foot. Back and forth, stay low. Keep your bum nice and low, keep the core engaged. Feel the burn on your arms and your legs. Just keep your knees bent at all times. We're nearly there. Keep going. Better at breath now. Last few seconds. And rest. Done up. Right, two rounds done. We've got one round left. Who's on the Kath, Ali, there, Lindsay White, Jenny Malone, Michelle, Osborne, Kaya, Julie and Julie. Whoosh. So probably about halfway through the workout now, so we've done warm up core. We're at our first circuit of three circuits. Three six minute circuits today. Right, three, two, one, walk out. Okay, so top of a push up or a plank. Keep the core tight, stand up at the top. Generally, sleep bend your knees at the bottom as you come down. And then really use the power on your legs to stand up straight. Just try and build up a bit of speed. The faster you go, the more of a cardio workout this becomes as well. Right, stay down there. And then we're gonna do some cover push-ups. for your own flexibility. Don't worry if you can't get as high as I can get. You never want to push it until it hurts your back. So just feel that sort of mild tension of the back muscles and the bum muscles working. You shouldn't feel any pain or any pinching. Right, last few seconds on these. And then we're gonna do a bear crawl. Right, push up. Get into your bear crawl position. Go. Okay, just turn to the side so you can see how my body is. See I'm sort of on all fours, but I'm only touching the floor with my toes, not my knees or my shins. Right, so crawling back and forth, really pressing your weight into your hands and your feet. Build up a bit of speed now, last few seconds. Get that heart rate up, keep your butt low, keep core tight. Three, two, one, and rest.
Yeesh, well done. Right, so we'll take the 30 second dress period. Grab a drink if you like. Hope everybody's feeling all right. So, I would say we're pretty much halfway through that workout now. So we've got another two six minute circuits to do. So the next one, that circuit we've just done was predominantly upper body, a bit of core, a little bit of legs, a bit of cardio. The next circuit is gonna be predominantly legs and lower body. Again, the core's always engaged and you're gonna get your heart rate up. And then the last circuit is a bit more of just like a full body, more of a cardio blast. So the next six minute circuit is gonna be the same, where it's gonna be 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So three moves back to back, then a 30 second rest. So like a two minute circuit, three times. So again, the three moves we're gonna do, I don't think anybody's really done these before. So I will um, demonstrate them now. You might have done them, but we've just not done them together. So I'll call these next ones like crab walks or crab steps. If you're using a weight, have one weight here or two weights, one on either shoulder. I'll leave it up to you. It's pretty much hard enough without a weight though, so I'll let you gauge it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna crouch down, not crouch down, squat down, almost in a full squat. And then it's just gonna be side steps like this. So keeping your bum low. So as you're taking the step, you're not riding it up. You're staying low. So keeping the leg muscles engaged, keep your core tight. Shoulder blades squeeze together and chest up. Okay? So you just side step in, depending on how much room you've got. You can take like five steps to the right, five steps to the left. I'm just gonna step back and forth so I'll stay on camera. That's the first one. So we'll call those crab walks or crab steps. Second one is walking lunges. Okay, so if you're using the weight, equal weight in each hand by your sides or in your shoulders or one weight on your front, and you're gonna lunge, but you're gonna travel forward, okay? So taking steps forward. Then you can either turn around and travel back. I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to turn my back to you because that's rude. So I'm gonna travel back, doing backward stepping lunges, which are much harder, so just do what you can. If you've got no space whatsoever, just step in and out your lunges. That's the second move. The third move is frog jumps. So it's a full squat, hands touch the floor. You're gonna spring up out your squat and reach for the ceiling. Back down into your squat, reach for the ceiling, so frog jumps. I would ditch the weight on the frog jumps if you're using it. So those three moves followed by a 30 second rest, three times round which will equal six minutes. So the 10 second countdown is on. I'm going to demo the first round with no weights. So assume the position for your crab steps or your crab walks. Go. So you're trying to take quite a big step to the side. Okay, so a decent wide step, depending on what your hips feel like. If you really struggle with your hips and your knees, you will be familiar with glute bridges, so please do those instead. Um, if you really struggle with hips and knees and you're going to struggle with the lunges, you'd probably be familiar with straight leg deadlifts, so do those instead. So I was just choose an alternative exercise if something doesn't suit you. It's not set in stone, right, lunges. So I'm gonna walk forward, and I'm gonna walk back. So remember, we're having no rest in between the three moves, just a rest at the end of the three moves. <coughs> so travel in lunges if you're able. If that was too challenging, just Step in and out some lunges. Just do what your ability allows. I know people do sometimes struggle with lunges. Oops. Say she wobbling. Right, frog jumps. Go, touch the floor. Spring up. If jumping doesn't suit you, don't jump. If this move doesn't suit you, do something else. Press up, jog on the spot. It's your workout. So just adapt it to your own abilities. Always like to think about what you can do, just never dwell on what you're not, not able to do. For every one thing you can't do, probably a hundred things that you can address. Right, that's one round done. Two rounds left. So I'll grab the weight for the next round, I'll just demo with one kettlebell for the next round. left and you rest and now we'll go into the crab steps. 
three, two, one. So stay nice and low. Big steps. This one reminds me of maybe years ago, like in the nineties, we used to do legs, bums, and tums classes. <laughs> like back in the days when women never picked up any weights. Women never went in the men's weight section, never touched a dumbbell or a barbell because that was for the men. You just did aerobics, step aerobics, legs, bums and tums. <laughs> How corny, lunges. And then you wondered, like, you used to go a few times a week and smash out your legs, bums and tums classes. And it was like the same every flipping week. Same routine, never changed. Never got any hard and never varied. And he wondered why it wasn't working. He didn't see any results. <laughs> Funny. Right, drop the weight. Frog jumps. Now well then folks, keep going. Your legs should be on fire. Burn, big burn. 10 more seconds. Come on, let's do it. Three, two, one. Rest. Right, we've done two rounds of that circuit. Jesus, my legs are burning. Um, I'm gonna do one more round. So I think I'll, I'll grab some dumbbells for the next round, just so you can see how that works. five seconds on the crab steps. Go. So I've lent, stupidly lent all my light dumbbells out. So obviously I don't mind lifting heavy, I like lifting heavy, but when you demo in a workout, trying to talk at the same time, it's not the best really. Well done folks, keep your, keep your arse low, big side steps, just maintain that tension on the lower body muscles. Should be getting hard, should feel the burn. Last one, stand up straight, straight into your lunges. I do love a lunge because they're hard, they challenge your balance. Ten more seconds on the lunges, and then if you're using the weights, we're going to drop them. And we're going to do our last set of the froggies. Right, drop your weights now. Frog jumps, go. So 30 more seconds. And then you're going to get a big rest. Probably going to be killing you by now. That's all good. Feel the burn in those legs. Get a big calorie burn working those large muscle groups in the lower body. We're nearly there, come on, stick with it. Three, two, one, rest. Right, so just sit on the floor. You really need to try and just relax the legs, take some deep breaths, so just get the dead loose. Give them a bit of a shake, a bit of a window wiper. Deep breaths, have a drink if you need to. I was torn in a workout between feeling dead thirsty and wanting to drink loads and then having loads of water in my stomach you feel like I'm going to bath. Right then. So we're going to move on to the last part which is a, a six minute high intensity inter interval. So no weights for this but you're going to need something to jump over. So if you've been using a dumbbell or a kettlebell just keep it on the floor because you're going to be jumping over it. If you've not got anything like that just Scrunch your sweat up into a ball or put your water bottle down. Just be a bit cautious because you don't want it to be something that if you land on it, are you going to break that or are you going to slide and go flying? Um, I was demonstrating this for my corporate clients this morning and I, put, I had like a shaker, like a protein shaker, I put that down and in the last round I jumped on it and it smashed into like a million pieces. I thought it was a touch embarrassing. Right, I'm just going to get rid of these. So I'm just going to jump over my kettlebell. Alright. Hopefully you can see.
see it there. Right, so our three moves, I'm gonna demo the moves. We're gonna switch the intervals up this time though. So we're gonna do 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest on the first move. Then 20 seconds work, 40 seconds rest on the second move. And then on the third move, it'll be back to 40, then 20. Just varying the intervals, it just challenges your body in different ways so your body doesn't get bored or complacent. So the first move, right, if anybody does tie boxing, kickboxing, boxing, you're gonna think I'm really shit at this. Like Graham always slags me off and he laughs because he's like a proper tie boxer. Um, but it's just get the heart rate up and just get, get your body moving, don't worry about technique. Left foot forward, right foot back. We're gonna do punch, punch. So two punches followed by two kicks, okay? So punch, punch, two kicks. So you want to build up a bit of speed, you want to get your kicks high. You want to really put a bit of welly into your punches as well. Like, so really imagine you're, you're hitting a bag or a person if you're that way inclined. Okay, so punch, punch, kick, kick. We'll do that for 40 seconds, we're gonna rest for 20. And then we're gonna jump over. So just a two footy jump, just whatever you're jumping over, just really pick your knees up, make sure your feet really clear it. So 20 second jumps. If you need a step, you could jump on and off a step. 40 second rest. And then 20, the last round is 40 second knee to elbow. So you're getting your body in a, what I call a cactus position. And you're gonna switch opposite knee, opposite elbow. You're gonna drive your knee really high and really twist the body. Keep the core tight. Once you've done a couple and you've got the movement pattern into your brain, bring like a little bounce in the middle, right? So dead fast. Dead high with knees, really high intensity, really go for it. That's probably about as close to dancing or coordination as you'll get in this gym. I've got no rhythm and I'm tone deaf, so I'll never be a Zumba instructor. And thank God aerobics is out of fashion. Right, are we ready? Six minutes, so I'm gonna do that twice round. So 10 second countdown is on. So we're punch, punch, kick, kick. Fast as you can, hard as you can. Three, two, one, go. So punch, punch, kick, kick, punch, punch. High kicks. Really put a bit of force through your foot as you kick. Hope Graham's not watching out the window. Be slagging me off. Hopefully you don't do it right. <laughs> right, 20 more seconds when you punch, punch, kick, kick. Really go for it. If, again, bad hips, bad knees, you can't kick, just keep punching. If you've got a bad shoulder, something wrong with your upper body, just keep kicking. Okay, so it's always adaptable. It's always something you can do. Rest there. So you've only got 20 seconds rest. And then you're grabbing something to jump over. Two feet you jump, side to side. Really fast, really high. Only for 20 seconds. As, as many as you can in the 20 seconds. So three, two, one, go. When I jumped on my shaker this morning, it was when I was trying to look at the clock at the same time as jump. I ended up landing on the shaker. Just be dead careful. We don't want any broken bones. And rest. It's funny when I've trained clients in the gym, the amount of people that can't get two feet off the ground at once. I think it's a psychological thing. People just can't jump. I think they're just scared to. They literally just like, it's one foot and then the other. They just can't jump up with two feet. Last time. Right, knee to elbow now in 15 seconds. So you're gonna get your body in that cactus position. Keep your core tight, chest nice and proud. Really make a full body move. Right, so we're going in five seconds. We're gonna do this for 40 seconds. So really think speed and effort. Go. So build that little bounce in the middle. Really spring into it. Really high with your knees. And give it a big twist. Go for it. This is really definitely need some high tempo music, isn't it? Right, so 20 seconds left. Come on, go for it. Ten more seconds. Go punch, punch, kick, kick. <sighs> Ten seconds left on the rest. Get ready. 
Ready? Three, two, one, go. So 40 seconds, punch, punch, kick, kick, maximum effort. Really give it some really good stress buster doing this, isn't it? I know most of my clients love coming in and giving the punch bar a bit of a butter in. But plenty of people imagining it's their ex-husband. Right, 10 more seconds on this. Really give it some. Come on, don't slow down as you get tired. Really keep putting that effort in. Rest. Right, so we're jumping over now. So we're only going to be jumping for 20 seconds. Obviously the higher thing, if you're jumping over, the harder it is. Just really pick your feet up. We're going in five seconds. For 20 seconds of jump. Three, two, one, go. Ten more seconds. If jumps in too you can always go punches or something, rest there. Right, 40 second rest. Really try and get your breath back. Try and calm the body down a bit. So you can give it maximum effort for the last 40 seconds. Okay, so we've just got 40 seconds of knee to elbow. Done. So we've got 15 seconds left on your rest. So really have a word with yourself, really say we're gonna go flat out, leave absolutely nothing behind. Full speed, maximum effort in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. If this movement didn't suit you, you could sprint on the spot. You can do burpees if you're so inclined. You can do the hot feet that we've done quite a few times before. Come on, keep working. A bit faster, a bit higher with the knees. Go for it. Last 15 seconds. Flat out now. Last 10. Well done, folks. Nice work. Should be uh, feeling pretty knackered now. So just have a sit down. Just let the body calm down a wee bit. Let's get your breath back. Have a drink. So I said I was going to make an announcement at the end of this. Um, so obviously things are... You're welcome, whoever said thank you. Things are picking up a wee bit in the gym now, which is really good. So I'm allowed to um, coach people one to one outside. Um, I have been training people online all the way through, and I'm still going to carry on and do that forever, really, um, for people who can't get to the gym. But things are getting a bit busier for me now. So, and I've also got corporate clients who I train once a week. So I'm filming three workouts a week for you guys, two workouts for my corporate clients. I've got quite a lot of online clients going one to one. I've got an online coaching group and then I've now got quite a lot of one-to-one -one personal training clients. So I'll be totally honest, it's getting a bit much for me this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep filming and going live to you guys every Tuesday at 3. And I'm going to keep the Thursday at midday, but I'm going to drop the Sunday. So I'm finding I'm getting back into what, what I don't want to get back into is just working all the time and not having any downtime or any rest time. And that's not healthy for my mental health. And I was finding it's taking its toll on my body because I'm doing so many workouts in the week and I'm still trying to maintain my own training, walk the dog and stuff like that. So unfortunately, we're going to drop the Sunday live workout. Um, so that's going to go. I think Graham will be glad because every Sunday morning he's like, oh, dragging his ass into the gym. Um, so there's a, there must be 30, perhaps getting on for 40 full workout videos saved to the top of this, this group page now. So obviously I think people should, should work out at least three times a week. So you can join me twice a week for your lives, but then you're maybe just going to have to tap into some of the previous videos if you want an extra workout. Um, there are absolutely loads there, so there's no excuses. And they're all suitable for all abilities, all 30 to 40 minutes long. 
and it can all be done with, with bare minimum equipment. Um, so I won't see you on Sunday. So we'll see you on Tuesday next week. So we're just going to stick with the two lives a week. Just because it's getting a bit much for me and obviously I don't want to burn myself out. Um, if anybody obviously wants to train online a bit more of a specific thing, give us a shout. Um, if anybody wants to be coming back to the gym on a one-to-one -one basis if you live locally, also give us a shout. I've only got a couple of spaces left for that. I'm getting quite busy. Um, and I'll try and just always come in the group every day or so. And I'm always just posting you little challenges. So if you don't want a full 30 or 40 minute workout, if you go to the photos file, there's loads of little challenges there, so like a five, five minute, ten minute challenges. Um, if you just want a quick blast, you know, just to give you that endorphin boost, but not thinking, God, I've not got 30 or 40 minutes to work out. There's like little squat challenges, there's press up challenges, there's burpee challenges, just little blasts. If you go in and do any of the workouts at any time other than going live, always comment on it and let me know that you've done it. Um, let me know how, how you got on. Um, feedback's always brilliant. So I'm going to sign off now and again as always this will be saved to the top of the page. There's also loads of stuff on my YouTube, Stella Woodward the Vegan Coach. Um, there's mindset stuff on there as well on the YouTube and there's also me talking about how to manage a calorie deficit, how to take progress photos, um, how to track your progress. Um, I'm talking about female hormones, there's loads of different bits and bobs on, on the YouTube so I always just have a little, little skeg at that if you've got a minute. Um, and there's always loads of blogs on my website talking about everything from caffeine to becoming vegan to trying to lose belly fat to not making progress loads of stuff right i will stop talking to you now and i'll see you on tuesday thanks everybody for joining in as always it's been a blast bye